don't inform you of something because you have injured me more times this off season than I think anybody else in my career. I left my cup at home. <laughs> you you want one? I got one. Well, I got a big like green. Sock. I got a big green towel I got in here. Do you want just my jock? You can just slide it in. Yeah, sure. My first pro game. Yeah. I played without a cup. This is good though. This is good for the bar. Out with the old, <laughs> in with the new. It's not only gonna stay, but no, but at least it's gonna have. You're you gonna have, have to, like, a combo. Put them both. In. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad. This is actually the second time probably this month that I had to do this. What are you doing? Do you just forget the other one? Yeah. Oh, that's way better. Way more comfortable. There you go. And I feel comfortable. Now you can take a shot to nuts. You know that episode of Family Guy when Stewie's like, check out my package? Yeah. Just uh, my package. God delivered it. I signed for it. World keeps on spinning. Check out my package, Brian. Okay, so I would like to confirm that I did not get hit in the nuts today. Very successful day despite the adversity I faced by leaving my jock in the dressing room that I played in last night. I remember as a kid playing AAA, we used to do cup check just to make sure some guys were wearing cups and sometimes we do shoe check at dinner. Uh, so basically shoe check is somebody puts like ketchup on your shoe under the table, you don't know it, you call shoe check and whoever has ketchup on their shoe has to do something stupid. Uh, I got busted one time actually to plant my ass in the boulevard. This is in Prince Albert, check this out. He's got it done! He's got it done! Oh. oh my god! Oh, she's so good! We also had dinner one time at Hooters, and I remember we shoot checked this one kid. We actually made him eat a wet nap at Hooters. Suck on it! Suck on it! Now, by the way, he did give me consent to put this video in the vlog. It was totally consensual. Uh, today's video is not going to be the most exciting. It was going to be comprised of a workout, some general errands, some complaining. I also have to return a GoPro and some other crap that I bought on Amazon the other day. So if you like that, today's video is just a video for you. We're going to do that right now. Q&A time, uh, got lots of questions here. A bunch actually for today's Q&A were actually about pregame rituals, warm-ups, workouts, uh, nutrition, all that kind of stuff. And so I'm gonna answer all those questions. And I actually have my trainer here who's going to answer a bunch of questions because I'm not exactly certified. As far as rituals goes, um, I love having like a banana or like a cup of coffee for a uh, skate. I know Brian, my trainer, probably wouldn't agree with the cup of coffee maybe. As far as rituals go, do a lot of juggling, just physically getting loose. I don't really have rituals. I have what I have to do to get my body to feel appropriately like ready for a nice time, if that makes sense. Nick the goalie asks, what is the best pregame meal? So Nick, uh, best pregame meal is going to be anything with some carbs and a little bit of protein before the meal. Preferably about three to four hours between or before your game. Good example would be a lasagna, it's great. Uh, any kind of pasta, quick, quick carbs uh, and some lean meats. So chicken, fish, um, ground turkey. Try to stay away from any 16 ounce steaks. What pre-skate stretches or warm-ups do you do before stepping on the ice? So Jeremy, uh, things to do before you get on the ice is definitely mobilizing the hips. So a lot of hip rockers, uh, lunges, getting in that deep position, um, anything you can do to kind of open them up. The groin stretches, those are always a good one. Um, but 
focusing on moving your hips back and forth and front and back as much as you can. Getting the quads warmed up, the hamstrings, so the back of your leg, and uh, the calves, so we don't have any chances of Achilles injuries. And our final question of the day, sir. Okay, Ross McIntyre, 30, asks, what is the best workout for a goalie? Well, Ross, the best workout is going to be anything that you can build the lower body strength in. So squats, single leg work, posterior chain, anything that is involving your back, so a lot of that hip movement. So Romanian deadlifts, lots of rows. And then at the end of it, you want to be able to uh, build your power. Trap bar jumps. Trav and I haven't gotten into this yet, but Olympic lifting at the end of the day, because that's where all the power is. If you have more questions like this you want answered, leave them in the comment section, and we will try to get them at the next q and I'm sure she's a nice lady. But in my 23 years of life on this planet, this is a first. Have a great day. Okay, I want to take a minute of your time to talk about this. This is the GoPro Hero 7 Black Dusk Edition. Uh, if you watch any of these videos, you know that GoPros are what I use on a daily basis to make these videos. GoPro makes these things that are just retarded. The battery starts going after a couple months and it turns on, it turns off, it shoots video, it shoots pictures, it stops recording. It, does, it doesn't even film in the right settings that I set it at. It's like it has a mind of its own and this happens like every four months. I don't know why. GoPro, please fix it. I called them yesterday. They're gonna give me a replacement because they're gonna ship it expedited. Uh, they said they're gonna give me a free like chest mount or whatever. The chest mount is nice. It is very frustrating though when this is what I use to make videos on a daily basis. I have to ship this thing back today. I called GoPro. This is gonna be my third, second Hero 7 Black that I have in my possession. This will be my third one in the last year. Uh, every single time I get one of them, this thing is a nightmare. I mean, the Hero 8's coming around any day now. I spend my entire days playing with GoPros and using GoPros to make these videos. And it's my daily driver for making all these videos because I have so much money and time invested. Hero 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, Black sessions you name it but GoPro is making a shit quality action camera and it's actually really putting me on the edge of getting some DJI Osmo actions at least giving them a test run because like I, I can't film if this thing just turns on and off all the time crazy today oh my god today has been a crazy day now I gotta pick up a couple things uh yeast butter chocolate reason being so the U Sport team I've been skating with I've been doing summer skates every Wednesday night and Tuesday morning uh, the athletic therapist the other day stuck around for an hour and a half extra after the skate to uh, give me a massage and just make sure that my body's taken care of, which they did not need to do. Uh, and again, they're all uh, they're all practicum or practical students. I don't know what the technical word is. I'll put it up here. Uh, but they did not need to spend that time to do me a favor. So they love donuts. So I'm going to make them some donuts for the skate next week. You know, they did a really good job. I'm going to get them the good stuff. Chocolate, check. Yeast, also check. Butter, check, 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 check. Somebody asked the other day, why do I specifically shoot so many time lapses and drone shots in Winnipeg of the whole downtown building, the districts? As you can see, I'm shooting another one right now. No matter where you are in the city, whether you're on the outsides of the perimeter, uh, whether you're downtown, north end, south end, you can always see these buildings and always see uh, the infrastructure of the downtown area of Winnipeg. And I thought there was nothing more iconic in Winnipeg, I think, than the whole downtown area. That is why I'm always trying to shoot those because I think that when you see that, you immediately know this is Winnipeg. This is where the vlog is taking place. Yes, I know exactly what you're thinking. I had my hair cut from the beginning of the video when I filmed it to the ad now. Uh, speaking of cuts, Sideline Swap is cutting all prices on Goalie Gear 70% off. Go to sidelineswap.com, find out what the website's all about, and I will see you in the next video.